Hello guys and welcome to La David Zamolata. In today's video, I want to show you how to start a Chrysler 300 when a battery is dead, which is located inside of the trunk, by just opening up your hood. I know it may seem kind of obvious to a lot of you guys, but to some of you, you'll open up the hood and you're just not going to see it. When you pop the hood open, here's the positive cable right here and all you need is a ground, like something like this. So this is a dead battery due to the fact that the alternator has died and um, it needs replacing so i do have a battery jump box like this but you can get any kind you want like a lithium one uh lithium one uh is a little bit more portable so i'm gonna link it up in the description below amazon links where i actually picked up this and the lithium ion one so let's just go ahead and actually hook it up uh so you take the positive terminal right here and these are very long cables so that, that's why this unit is like real awesome but it's heavy so if you want something portable pick yourself a lithium ion one so let's just put it to that right there so you'll just have to turn it on like this go on the inside see now now we're getting some chimes it's actually still quite dead so I just need to find a better ground so it might not be very strong over here let's see here I might need to wait till it charges if the ground does not work then I recommend guys if all fails and you must uh, open up your trunk at least you're gonna have power to your trunk from the hood area and then you could just you know pop the trunk open and uh, bring your battery starter in here and just hook it up where it really needs to go but there's also some kind of battery terminal here so it appears like we have some fuses here it doesn't say what they are but there's fuses inside of your trunk lid as well so in case if anything's blown, you could just come and check out some of these. So anyways, we had this thing uh, connected for about five minutes now, at least. But I also want to show you a second fuse location, which is down in here. We're just going to go ahead, turn this unit off, take it to the trunk. I am really surprised, but for some reason it has failed connected over here underneath the hood shouldn't fail but it did so we're just gonna go ahead and actually put these things down here turn that on and then of course it starts up right here so yeah so looks like for some reason underneath the hood where it should work it did not work i don't know why but um it does work good in the trunk but i know one thing is if you need to get to the back uh where the battery is and the battery is dead you can't pop that trunk lid open one other way to do it is you need to come inside pull on this strap here and then go inside and then pull like a little green lever there so that's the only other way to really get to the battery if all else fails we still have a dead battery situation i went ahead and actually unplugged everything and i'm going to try to put my lithium ion one and just see if that works from starting over here because this has like smaller clamps i wonder if it's gonna work or not so it's very simple to use and it's very light i actually use this as my power brick to charge my you know like accessories and stuff but when i'm traveling so we need to hook it up this to the plus that to the minus go ahead and actually turn it on we do so let's try to start it these things are still you know really powerful to start the car but apparently for some reason, I, I don't really understand it. It's just 
not enough juice to really jump the car from here so this is just something i've learned oh and then this cut off so that's a that's a flashlight turn that flashlight off i'm not sure if this is that little rubber piece is kind of like in the way a little bit so this little display here will show you the reading of the current state of the battery but for some reason over here it just doesn't do that so i'm going to try to start it again if not i'm going to go back to the trunk and start it so nothing's working what you do is you just open it up like that and then go to your trunk and then start it and i'm pretty sure this is going to help somebody because let's say you know the location of this here under the hood and you're getting somebody to jump you because you don't have something like this then they're just going to sit there for maybe like 30 minutes and you're still going to be able to start your car at least you will know that you could use the power from that battery to just uh open up your trunk and then just work from here these here are kind of small uh, and it happens to be like on a Chrysler these are kind of giant but there's still ways of hooking it up so you have to power that device on which we just did and let's try to start it but that battery is actually super dead As you can see, that just like works no problem with a lithium ion. So we'll just turn it off. So I'm not really not letting this battery charge up any. Um, it's a great battery, but it's been sitting for a while. So I actually got to remove this battery, put it on the charge. But at least even if there is no battery, I might still be able to pop the hood open. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull this device out and I want to pull this battery out i made these battery cables intentionally uh easy to pull so that i could actually put this car battery in pull it out as necessary so the idea is pull this battery out close the trunk now hook this thing up to that little unit and see if we could actually pop the trunk with this unit being connected over here now this would be awesome if i if i could do that so turn that on we're not getting any kind of chimes which is not good so you need some kind of battery source at least to be able to get some kind of juice that way you could actually go to the trunk so in this case once this happens and you can't uh you know like open up the trunk with that or start the car you need to basically open up this rear seat by pulling this this tab here and just climb inside there and um pop the trunk from inside by pulling the green green little lever it's it's a glow in the dark type of lever so i hope this really helps somebody out there uh, i'm working on this chrysler just getting stuff fixed replacing some parts and stuff like that so uh, in the next video, I want to show you how to uh, fix the strut uh, situation. No, not a strut. It's a. Uh, it is a sway bar, which is. You would not know if it's a sway bar unless I tell you it's a sway bar because it's making these clinking and clank sounds when you pass any over any kind of bumps in the road. So I want to. I want to help you solve that issue next. So once I solve all these little imperfections, replace the alternator, which I'm also going to make a video on. Then I'm actually going to paint everything and uh, also fix all the all the stuff with the uh the rear uh panels and stuff which is kind of broken um and then i'm gonna try to put it on the market but anyways guys thank you so much for watching uh if you are looking for some kind of devices like this that could help you start your car um look in the description below and you're gonna see the links to amazon just check them out if they're right for you get them if not find something else and uh just something that works for you all right, see you guys in the next video. My Bye -bye. name is Serge Zamaleta. I'm 37 years old. And yes, I experienced success after buying my first home for cash. Back in 2011, I was broke, but I learned to solve problems on my own. 
Now I'm helping others to solve their problems. I know what pitfalls to avoid to stay profitable in business. Need motivation to be more successful in your life? BF Sprinter expedite their business problems? Then subscribe. Let's find creative solutions to your problems. Hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of my helpful videos.